In this video I'm going to code the arrow keys to move my main character. My main character is my sheep, so I right click on the sheep and I will choose open editor. Okay, now I need to remove the comment code here and I'm going to use an if statement, so if. Then I'm going to open my brackets and these are the typical brackets. On a new line I'm going to use the curly brackets, press enter three times and close the curly bracket. It's very important that you get the brackets correct before you add any code inside of them. Now inside of the if brackets I'm going to type greenfoot with a capital G and a dot. Now I can press control and space and pressing control and space gives me a list of all of the different commands that I can use. I'm going to choose is key down so I can double click on is key down. And it tells me now, it highlights in there exactly what I need to write. I need to write a key name. So in speech marks, I'm going to write the word right, which is the right arrow key on the keyboard. So now inside of the if brackets, I can write what happens when I press the right arrow key. I'm going to press control space again to see my list of options. And when I click the right arrow key, I want the object to turn right. So set my rotation to zero. Zero degrees in green foot is the right direction. I need to add a semicolon at the end of any line which has a white background. Now on the next line I can press control space again and I can go down to move and double click it and the distance is just one. I can add the semicolon, I can click compile and if I go back to my main window and click run when I hold down the right key, the sheet moves right. Now I need to do the same thing, but for my other directions. So I'm just going to copy the code that I've already written, Control C and paste it, Control V, press Enter, Control V, press Enter, Control V. Now I just need to change the directions. So we'll do it in a clockwise direction from right. So down, left, and up. You can change this to WASD or any other configuration if you want to. What I need to do now is change the rotation. So it changes by 90 degrees each time. So 0 is right, 90 is down, 180 is left, and 270 is up. Click compile to save, go back to the window, click run. Now I can use my arrow keys and my main character is moving up, right, down and left. 